Okay, y'all. So we got another one. Another Instagram famous thought. But this time, it's a man. His name is James Baker, aka Front Page J, and his bio on Instagram was always Instagram thought magnet. And boy, when I tell ya, he was not lying. This dude is one of them credit card scammers, them brawlers who do it all for the gram. But anyway, let's get to the point. This man beat up this girl named India so badly. It's crazy. She was an Instagram model that he met off the gram back in July of 2016 and she is now coming forth to share her story once again. When the incident had first occurred, she shared a picture of her bruised face, but now the news got more unseen photos. Basically, she saw him, he was a cutie, he saw her, she was a cutie, both were popping on Instagram, so it went down in the DMs of course. They met up, hung out, did what they did, drank, and the next thing you know, she woke up in a pile of blood, face all battered, so she immediately called the cops. Now, right before this all occurred, they were both posting each other on Snapchat. But once this happened, both of their stories disappeared without a trace, which confused those who had viewed them when the allegations of him beating her up had first came out. I vividly remember when this had immediately happened and he wasn't caught yet. He was still on IG claiming that she had robbed him. He claimed that something about they did what they did, they were in the hotel room, he fell asleep, then he said he woke up and all his cash was missing. So that's why he claimed to have attacked her. And then his story changed and he's saying that none of it ever happened. So he's already iffy because his story's changed. But mind you, he does have a track record for things like this as far as disrespecting and hitting on women. He fought cat stats before and check out how dirty he did his ex-girlfriend Miss Turksome in the next clip. And mind you, he violated her out the blue. She never saw it coming. Be right back after this clip. I'm not fucking with no more fuck bitches. And she ugly today. So it's, it's really easy to leave. And she ugly today. So it's, it's really easy to leave. And she ugly today. So it's, it's really easy to leave. Okay, now fast forward a couple weeks after he broke it off with Torxum, he beat this girl up and all evidence points to him. From camera footage of him leaving the hotel, dipping off in her car, all that. Everything points to him. And actually, he beat her up so badly that her brain shifted. That's crazy. Like, can you imagine how hard you have to be hit for your brain to actually shift? And I mean, from the pictures alone, you can see how badly he did her. I mean, a ghost didn't do it. Because, I mean, he really thinks that he didn't do it at this point. He convinced himself. And doctors said that had she not been swift enough on her feet to have called 911 as fast as she did, she would not have made it. Now, we know that by now she has healed a great deal, but we still want you all to keep her in your prayers because no woman or nobody for that matter should have to go through this. And yes, he is most definitely locked up right now for this incident as well as for the credit card fraud. And his next court date is in June of 2017, of course. And can you believe that he complains about his lack of support and letters up in there? But moral of this is be careful when meeting people from online. You don't know them from a can. All you know is the illusion that they portray. Don't think that just because they look good that they are good for you because everything that glitters ain't gold, honey. What do y'all think about this? Let us know below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this page for more. PettyBlog.com signing off.